Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I will be presenting a short video in connection with the application of the 555IC. This time, the topic concentrates on the water level sensor using this IC. And if you have just spotted my channel today, please watch my two previous uploads with the link in the description below for a better appreciation regarding 555IC. Now, let's move on to the discussion. Let me show you a simple water level sensor that will produce an audible alarm when the water shorts these two electrodes. This circuit uses a 555IC that is configured as an stable multi-vibrator. Try to look at the circuit. The IC is already connected to the power, 5 volts, and already connected to the ground. However, these two electrodes are still open or not yet shorted when these two electrodes are still open the IC will not produce an oscillation therefore the output pin tray remains high or active when this is active or high your LED and buzzer remains off please be mindful of these uh, components their polarity should not be reversed do not put the positive here and the positive here now proceed to the actual circuit the 555 is configured as an unstable multi-vibrator the power plus and minus already connected to the circuit and as you can see there is no oscillation yet in the oscilloscope there is no oscillation yet all right and this is my indicator this indicator is connected parallel to my buzzer this is my buzzer okay as you can see in the circuit diagram the buzzer and the LED they are connected in parallel all right so my uh, electrons this one and this one two electrodes as you can see here electrode one is connected to the power 5 volts and the electrode two is connected from R1 1 kilo ohms all right so the electrode two connected to the R1 running here going here 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 see so this is my electrode 2 and electrode 1 electrode 1 comes from the power this one plus alright Now observe the tank. I have filled some water in the tank. However, the water does not reach yet to the electrode 2. But the electrode 1 already have uh, submerged in the water. But the electrode 2, you can see that point. 
to short these two electrodes I will uh, add water I am using this uh, syringe I will fill water into the tank until the water touches the second electrode and please observe the LED and the alarm buzzer okay now I begin all right see the LED turns on and the buzzer sounds and the oscilloscope shows the oscillation all right that oscillation is the activity of the capacitor one that shows the charging and discharging all right now I will try to suck or reduce the water until the water is below the electrode 2 it's not easy to get that water out see I reduce the water and the buzzer off the LED off alright and the oscilloscope shows no oscillation now I will repeat I will fill this water again back to the tank and observe the buzzer Right. and the buzzer sounds all right so that's all and I hope you have uh, learned something in this uh, presentation and it would be a great help in your future reference all right and the oscilloscope also now have the waveform all right so thank you very much for watching and see you in the next uh, upload